Dave Gardy here at Golf Center TV at the Washington Golf Center, where Mr. Kirk Lucas, teaching pro, is going to teach Bridget Bell exactly how to do that bump shot around the green. We don't need a lot of air time. We need a lot of roll. We're in one of the closely mown collection areas. We're in the fairway short of the green. We want the ball to roll. We don't want it to get up much in the air. Right. Okay, it's a good one to practice at home if you have heavy drapes. We can just chip it right into the drapes at home off the carpet. So this is one we can practice about anywhere. Again, all we're going to do is we're going to stand very close to the golf ball. Okay. We're going to take a seven iron here, and we're just going to make a little mini swing. And the ball's not going to carry very far, and it's just going to roll beautifully right up towards the pin. Okay. So go ahead and demonstrate for us. Perfect. And the swing is similar to a putt. Exactly. Very similar. Your left knee is a little more outside your left ankle. And then from there, we just go ahead and make a little bit of an arm swing. Great. And it's just a rhythmical stroke. Just one, two, back, through. Beautifully done. And just change the length of your stroke. If you want it to go shorter, a bit less stroke. Good. Now a little bit more rhythm to it, a little bit more one, two, a little bit more bump. Good. And just count to yourself. One, two. Just like a swing going back and through. One, two. There you go. Beautiful strike. Well controlled. Ball goes easily where you're pointing the golf club. Nicely nice done. Good. good. Same thing. Just nice rhythm to it. Back and through. Good. Now pick a spot where you want the ball to land and just feel that rhythm. Perfect. Okay, now, if we're in the long rough, but we don't have a lot of rough to go through, or the ball's up against the collar where the, the short grass and the long grass meet, and we need to get the ball rolling. Okay. Or if we need maybe a little bit more power to roll it up a steep hill out of a collection area, we'll take a three wood. And why a three wood as opposed to a three iron? Bigger sole on the bottom. It's going to slide along the turf better. We don't have to be as perfect in our strike. It's just a lot more forgiving. Okay. And the ball will come out with just a little bit of air time, very little, and then it'll just scoot like a rabbit right up the hill or right down the fairway towards the pin. Okay. It's so a nice little shot. Here, I'll take your seven. Is it true Tiger Woods perfected this shot? He didn't. Well, obviously, he's perfected a lot of them, and you'll see him use it quite a bit. But I believe the originator, the first tour player I saw to use it, was Billy Andrade with a seven wood years ago at the, at the mixed team tournament. Good. Feel how the ball just rolls off the face? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically a, a foolproof shot as far as contact. And it's just a matter of, of practice to get the right distance. Beautifully done. So if your ball's sitting down in a hole, if you're in just a little bit of rough and you need to just get it rolling out of there, or if it's up against the collar, this is a great shot. Beautifully done. Good. And you can vary the length of your stroke to make it roll further or, or shorter. Mm -hmm. And I'm standing closer to the ball. Exactly. Correct? Anytime we, we, we're, we're hitting a, a shot that doesn't carry very far in the air, we're going to stand very close to it. Good. Now just make a little bit more swing and, and roll the ball a bit further. Good, couple more. And this is and something that you can you can you know practice a little bit at home if you've got the space. Good, one more time. Oh, that looks great. Good strike. Well done. Thank you. Another shot in the arsenal.